my friends, it's Ranger Russ from the Meg's Point Nature Center. We have a very special musical evening going on tonight. Uh, they're under a really awesome cherry tree, and I've been told that this cherry tree does not produce fruit, but it's still a beautiful tree. And I uh, started out pointing at a Norway spruce, um, not from this area, they're from Norway. But I want to let everybody know that tomorrow we have a very special event. This is Todd. Todd is going to be back at the Meg's Point Nature Center with live Birds of Prey at 6.30 tomorrow. We'll be on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. And Scott and Todd, so Scott waved to everybody so they know which one you oh, are. I'm on camera. I just thought I was on my own. <laughs> and then we have Todd down there. Um, they play some really beautiful music. I've had them on my radio show on ICRV, and uh, it's some of the most fun that I have had on the radio. Um, and we are actually at uh, Dr. Don Rankin's house. He's in the house behind me right here. So we are playing music for him. Um, he's probably my favorite guest on the radio because we always start out talking about uh, the history of something and end up with the Big Bang. Um, so, oh, not the TV everything show. In between. <laughs> and everything in between, from the from the Big Bang till uh, to present day Hammond Acid Beach State Park. So, what are you guys gonna play next? You have something in mind, or are we just gonna? No, you know what? Sometimes we do music in the moment, winging it. Um, I have a beautiful garden in front of me. I have insects buzzing around, and birds, goats in the background. So, see what happens. Marilyn's on. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. Does mean that she has power? I don't know. Marilyn, do you have power? Is anybody on that doesn't have power? Because I thought our numbers would be a little low tonight because most people don't have power. I don't have power. How do you like these little black-eyed Susans here, though? Are those cool? All over the place. Look at that. Nice. All right. Another song. You gonna follow me? All
ask me to play it again. Maureen says hello. Oh, we got a bell ring. Gia, Gia says, Maureen and Gia both say hello and best to you guys. All right. So does this mean... Uh, Don and Nancy say hello back to everyone that's saying hello to them. And I think this time... Go low and slow. All right. <laughs> you, you switched it up on, on Todd there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The flutes like to be rotated, otherwise they get kind of wet, very humid out especially. So, so why don't you tell us about the flute while Todd picks a drum? flute in general or this particular flute? How about that particular flute? This is by one of my favorite makers, Stephen Myers, a uh, three-leaf flute. You would not be able to touch this flute for less than $300 typically, but I think I paid $75 for it. He's, uh, I don't know, he just loves making flutes. He's a former school teacher, a former massage therapist. He's into helping people and, and contributing. He's not out make a profit. But we profit. I profit from his flutes. And if you enjoy my music, you profit. So in the giving is the getting for him. You know, he really, he lives it. Sounds so, like a renaissance man. This flute has uh, bindings on it, which is not common. <coughs> um, a bamboo flute will also have, often have these type of bindings to help prevent it from splitting and cracking. But this is pretty much just decorative at this point for this flute. Uh, I think this is basswood, I think. Very light, soft flute. I don't know. Am I a camera? Can they see me? Can they see this longitudinal ridge? I think so. Maybe. That's... That's what I'm calling. I don't know. It's a groove. This flute is groovy, you know? Longitudinal ridge sounds better than groove. Yeah, right, right, right. So, uh, Anyway, that's just a little touch. I haven't seen that before in any other of my flutes, but uh, it gives my thumb a nice parking space. It's a tactile. It's nice. His flutes are really made for quiet playing, gentle. They don't like to be pushed. That other flute I played a moment ago. It sounded like you were pushing the other one. Yeah, that one can be pushed. Um, a lot of his flutes, uh, that was from Odell Board, High Spirits. They can be played gentle or hard, but Stephen uh, Myers three leaf. They don't. If I, if I push it too hard, it will choke out. So it forces me to slow down.
slower. slower. And, uh, I can keep going. Sometimes I get lost and I just want to keep playing. <laughs> trying to. Part? Part? Do you need a drum in there? Yeah. You've got extra. Got extra. <laughs> That's got some good tone to that drum. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Lovely to be here. I know, I like you planted the flowers just for us. Yeah. And the hurricane didn't wipe them out for the tropical storm. Yeah. All right. I just want to remind everyone that tomorrow at the Nature Center we will be doing another live program. We'll do one at 11 and then one at 6.30. For now, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to record some things for YouTube, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will see you all tomorrow at 11.